off you give of me, looks. You give me like so bougie looks. I will like, put you in the front. I agree, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna shoot down like three spots. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make $1 billion. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I was gonna say the same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna put him in the middle. He's oh. still mentally here for me. I feel like your shoes Rhea are kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's like a knockoff, but quality platforms are usually like plus the all black, two, the two hundred to three hundred dollars. You give me like um, you have like a million followers on Instagram, and you do like model shoots every single day, like fashion shoots. And stuff. So <laughs> I want to put her in the middle. What's your name over there? Grace. I don't know. You give me like the vibe that you have. You make a lot of money like selling cookies with your nice <laughs> or like sweaters on Etsy or like something. Sweet, very sweet. Yeah, yeah very sweet. Vibes. And you have a fun TikTok, TikTok. So I think you are like over here, over here. Yeah. I like this. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. You think this makes sense? Mm, I'm gonna disagree. I think Raya should be one more ahead. Okay. I would put Josh like. Further in front up, of me, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, come no, on, Josh. Come Josh, on. where's your sweater from? H and M. H and M. Okay. Um, but H and M's like a classic, though. Like I know a lot of guys who wear like only H and M, but they make good money. Well, it's because... like a lot of girls wear Fashion Nova, but they're wearing like a thousand dollars shoes. Yeah. True. So I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. yeah I, yeah, I kind of think it's. You think this is the lineup? Okay. Make TikTok videos about like tech reviews and tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I run a couple businesses from it. What kind of tech businesses? Like can laptops, computers? Like type on keyboards, I make like custom ones. Um, and I also now I'm getting to like clothes, so I designed this hoodie. I feel mm. like you're great with money, so mm -hmm. even if you maybe technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely I need think to go needs higher to up. up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three that have done well. You should second. take my spot. I'm mean, <laughs> scary over second here. Yeah, I would, I would put you like second. Let's do second. Tech is a lot of money. Plus you have all those other income streams on top of it yeah. too. Yeah. So I teach people how to be content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. Do you sell a course? I was just about to ask. Ah, I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So I don't like paywalling info. How do you make your income um, without the ads? So I get $2.50 for every sub that I get. That's like one way that I make my money and TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly. And I also have like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but they're like really small. I mean, those are two pretty lucrative platforms, but also you have a lot of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. <laughs> you haven't sold your soul. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, with the LA rent rising though. <laughs> I still yeah. don't think you should be last though. Like, I don't feel like she should move until we hear a couple more. Yeah, yeah, I would keep myself down I here. I like, <laughs> bring her here. <laughs> uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, my big one is I am a sex educator. So I host a podcast. We just launched the third season. So I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. Um, and then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh. And with I YouTube, you've got and she's been doing it for three years. Philly. But my, my one caveat is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would want to unfortunately work with a sex educator, even yes. though I think it's like a cool And thing. it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadow through thing. bands mm -hmm. and things like that. How are you making most of your money though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Oh, but OnlyFans makes money. Yeah, you can make mm. money. OnlyFans has such an uncapped potential, I would put you up here. Third? Third? Like, top three for yeah. sure. Okay. All right, so uh, I make like, content just around like money and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. Finance uh, makes so much money because not yeah. only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. I feel like those videos also, especially in the way you do them with comedy are super shareable. Like those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels, they end up on Facebook. I would put you up because Definitely you do finance. Up. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm okay with that. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I could tell. Uh, I do like, mostly fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop, and that's how I became a TikToker. And now I just like do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. Sure, so your stuff. revenue comes from sponsorships. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money that's unless true. you're a thin white woman. So, 
<laughs> so she's a thin white woman, so. Being plus size in the social media industry is definitely been hard. There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. Like almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. Like they yeah. literally yeah. only gifting campaigns. And then like, even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But given, I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator. And then like, I feel like I've seen your videos on my boy page. I would maybe put you first. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm also, this is like my first year doing this Yeah, I say, I know say anyone's right here. I don't think I make more than you. We, we still have time to switch. So. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I um, am a plus size supermodel, so everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full-time job for about four years now. I have my own cannabis and sexual wellness podcast, so I do that separately. I also have my own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's a master class that I do quarterly. And then I also have a blog separately that I post on one to, at least once a week and the ad marketing is just starting on my blog so it's not too far in there but I'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenue. Have a, a lot I will put on. you first. Absolutely. Like just, yeah. there, you have Absolutely. so many streams of income. So many streams of income. Yeah. I, you just seem very very knowledgeable. And what about you Kazumi? I do OnlyFans. I also do YouTube. I also do Instagram. Um, my main stream of income though is TikTok. Not specifically from ad revenue but I make like seven to ten TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I a can. A day? Yes. With, wow. different, with different captions and I just lead it back to my OnlyFans. But I do, I make a lot of memes. That's like my kind of like niche. I make porn memes. Do you have memes. a billboard in WeHo? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHo. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Do you take sponsorships? No, I'm a sex worker. So they don't, sponsors don't want me or my face to represent their brand. The only reason I get away with that is because I also am a sex educator. So, yeah. but it's, it, I completely understand the second mm -hmm. they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans or sex work. Yeah, and I've gotten deleted like seven times. Yes. Yeah. Where do you rank? Like, what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm 0.01%. Okay, number All right, one. Well, number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have one. to switch. Absolutely. How many guys have you been with? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of me in Vogue. Um, <gasps> so I'm- It's a beautiful photo. My butt's in Vogue. Does Vogue pay a lot? It's almost kind of like, like being a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. Okay. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment you're type. Funny. Use <laughs> pinhead to complete transaction. I'm sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the U.S. is $6,940 with health insurance or $13,000 without, and it can vary wildly. I changed my mind. What's your return policy like? <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad, and this is his at-home work setup. He hates it. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse, and then we're gonna go ahead and give him the FOPO triple monitor so laptop adapter. adapter. This is gonna turn his single oh. laptop screen into a triple monitor I like adapter. See I do a lot of get ready with me. Instagram picture. And I want to style this sweater. So this is where we're at. I kind of think that these bell bottoms off those pants. Cool with this. And it kind of matches and it would edge up the sweater a little bit and make it a little more me. Wait, here they are. As you can see, That's I need so to be a little cute. bit taller for these. And I think it would be a crime not to wear these. <gasps> Wait, I love the fit. Yeah. That's pretty much what I oh do. Oh my god, Got that's it. so cute. Thanks. Our noses smushed up against our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. And whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. I would kiss you. That's woke. <laughs> Best websites for Twitch streamers. Twitch Tracker is a website that tracks your stream data. It'll show you the max viewers, follower gains, and the amount of hours you stream per stream. They also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed. And cool stats like average viewer count per date. Yeah, so I'm that's like similar to the type of Things content I, I do. Know. Oh. I feel like I should go down on the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want to up. put, I think your name is Teddy, right? Yes. You second, because I saw that, I saw that ad. Tech pays well. That ad was really well edited. I'm pretty sure companies will see that and be like, I want, I want to go and sponsor him again. But I'll put you second. I right put now. you second. Yeah. Key. I'll take it. I'm okay where I'm at. Um.
feel like numbers, like the follower count matters? No. no. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. One thing I'd like to say is like quality, de depending what industry you're in, because I have a friend who has quadruple the following I do and 10 times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of the quality and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. I feel yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, I think, that's I think a lot. Yeah, I would I do second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week I worked like four 18 hour days. At minimum, there's no day where I'm working, le like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours. At least. I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work. And like when she was talking about like, oh, like work doesn't end, but like it's like it does. You can go get a movie and like sit in your bed and scroll emails. <laughs> it's not the same as like being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave all day and be off your phone. And like you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to when you do a job like this because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually you know, work that many hours, but then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm gonna yeah, do that day. It's and the actually second like I actually work bed. all the day. Yeah. yeah. It's like how do you decipher what's going on? Yeah, work and what's so it's not. hard when you're not doing it. Like, I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do, but that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. working in some capacity. And then, like, so it's weekends hard to don't know. exist. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's really no days off. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when, oh my God, love gaming. But um, like, especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're such an e-girl. Like, yeah, a, like AVG e-girl e -girl aesthetic. Haha, -ha, you suck at the game we anyways. Love and now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What game? year were you doing that? I was doing it in like, 2018, 2019. Okay. I was doing it in 2011. Oh. To be a female YouTuber in a male dominated space in 2011 was traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do yeah. you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out and like, get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. I love that. Yeah, so it just feels like a, you know, like a small family. Absolutely. And, you know, I know that they're like out there fighting to they're get like team. what's best for yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They've been so helpful because I've run into other black creators that have like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less in there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I don't know, this looks like it makes sense. I feel like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, I down wanna, one I wanna or two. I wanna move down. I feel like with the YouTube AdSense, maybe I would switch this. I think we should, maybe. We should switch. And Josh, you have a manager, I don't. I think you're Okay, but I wanna, I wanna say this though. They do I, have, I have a modeling agency and 80% of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't feel the need for one because I don't think I'm getting as many, maybe, as he is. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second biggest channel again? It's for my business, and it has 75,000. Now I have employees, and I don't really do anything. Oh, so you have employees? I really don't think I should be here. I think he needs you to be second. Moved up. Oh, He's employees. I feel like I just want to move myself in between, in between us. You guys, I, I, that makes sense to or me. Or, like, lower. How do we feel about this? this? Yeah, this looks like our final answer. I think we're good with this. Seventh spot. Teddy at 115K annually. What? What? That was a shocker. No way. Sixth spot, Haley, 125K annually. I'm making pain. Six figure club. <laughs> Sixth spot, Kat, 175K. Fourth spot, Grace, 180K. And the third spot, Josh, 275. I knew you were up here. And in the second spot, Rhea, 300k. And the first spot, Kazumi, at 3 million. Damn! Oh my god. Sex worker? Yeah, let's go. Fair W for I tried us. Retire so tomorrow. <laughs> People uh, hate when you make a lot of money in a non-traditional way, and they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah. So I was very, very nervous about the reaction. I am an anomaly, and I don't represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into, because it is something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't like doing it. And uh, I just want to say that Y'all have motivated me. Cause I feel like <laughs> I became like comfortable with what I was doing and like I haven't been pushing myself recently. But now I'm like, 
Y'all are doing so well, and I'm like, Whoa. Well, that's you're crazy. Really you well. woke up and made a whole website by yourself. Yeah. Also, you're that nice. took me like three great. months on my great. blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. So I am really proud of you and whatever you've done and the fact that you can employ people and, and mm -hmm. do so many cool things with your life. I think there's an idea of what an influencer is in people's heads, and I think it's usually like a airheaded person who just takes selfies or uses a selfie stick. They don't understand, I think, maybe the nuance. Like, I was kind of weird coming into it because I grew up really poor and like $180,000 is like so much money to me. I like, I would be happy making the amount of money I make right now for the rest of my life. And I feel like everyone gets into it and they're like, I have to be a millionaire and I have to like monetize every category of my life. And that's probably where it becomes like an insane job. 